welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be like a day in the life. I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long. And so I'm gonna show you my new gym routine. I'm going in about half an hour. Whoops, show you all what I get up to today. I've got such a busy day ahead. So I need to get changed. Okay, let's go. So today I'm just wearing just my normal black singlet. And then I've got my pink Gymshark leggings that you've probably seen me wear a million times. Okay, let's go. So for breakfast today, well, it's like kind of pre-workout. Probably not the best pre-workout thing, but you know what? You feel like what you feel like. So I'm just going to have some Yopro yogurt, my favourite, the only one I use. Half of a banana. Green banana. A bit of this... What's it called? Protein clusters, granola sort of thing. And then some live seed peanut butter. Not the most fancy and colourful thing, but um, it'll do us. So, look how cool my new bamboo toothbrush is. Okay, we've got T minus 10 minutes. Let's go. Ow. Okay, I need to actually dry shampoo my hair. There's no point me washing it right now. So, I'll wash it after the gym. You know, sometimes you just don't have time to wash your hair. But look how much better that looks. Now I'm going to quickly wash my face. And then I'm using my sister's thing of these that you used to like put stuff on. Yeah, this is really random, but um, I'm just going to chuck on a little bit of aloe vera on my skin. Just like a tiny little bit on my forehead because this like really soothes your skin. Um, I probably should do this after the gym, but we can do it again. Right. So I've got my gym bag. I've actually got a towel. Resistance bands. My actual gym band. And then of course some hand sanitizer. And I'm going to bring my GoPro, but it wasn't charging last night. So for the gym now, what you need to do is book a session online um, but you need to pick out like what part of the gym you want to use so today I picked the weights room and cardio room so I haven't really got a plan for today I'm just gonna wing it yeah I'll try and film as much as I can I don't know how many people are gonna be there because I haven't gone on a Saturday morning before if worse comes to worse I'll just use my phone okay so the first thing I do when I get to the gym is I went to the cardio room and I did five minutes on the treadmill, mixture of walking, running. Then I went upstairs to the weights area. And I could not believe my luck. The squat rack, the machine that is always full, was free. So I went there straight away. I started off just doing light weights, so 10 kilos either side, so 20 kilos normal squats. My technique here is just not fabulous because um, I couldn't figure out where to put my feet. And then I supersetted that with lunge kickbacks with the resistance band. Just because I find supersets work you a lot harder, you feel it more. And then I repeated that four times. Then I also did hip thrust with the squat rack. I get weird looks for this one, but it is like one of the most painful exercises ever um it's so good though and i have missed this so much this was my favorite thing to do and then i did what's with a press like with a 10 kilo plate and then i supersetted that one with like push-up burpees sort of things just to get my heart rate up as well get a bit more sweat on And then I repeated that three times as well. And then I just did some other random exercises that I felt like doing, which was bicep curls with the plate. And then what are these called? Side lunges. And then just repeated them three times. And then I did some of these hanging leg raises. And then I went over to the 
assisted pull-up machine and did some with my arms wide and then my arms narrowed too. So I think it's like chin-ups and pull-ups all at the same time. I'm working on being able to do these without anything. Right now, I can only do one, which I mean, better than nothing, but I still, that's a, that's a goal I have for the end of this year. And then I did about five minutes of ab work on this declined bench, just normal sit-ups. Russian twists and then this person decided to invade thing thank you very much sir and then like um what are these called things just like a mixture of exercises all right as you can tell i've just gotten home that was so annoying so when you book a class it says you can stay at the gym for 75 minutes and i was like you know taking my time and stuff thinking i'm gonna like be able to stay there for longer and then he's like you need to get out i'm like Hmm. So like I couldn't do much of like abs at the end. I just kind of had to rush skedaddle. I'm gonna have a shower now. I'm just waiting for my sister to get out. And then I've got my skin appointment. I just don't even want to talk about it. Like it makes me want to cry. I've tried so many different things. And I just feel like nothing's working and I don't even know what's happening with my skin. And I, ow. I was just brushing my hair aggressively and I ripped out that my bad. Also, wearing this jacket today, this is what I got from Princess Polly. I'm actually working with them in a video coming up soon. I cannot believe that they actually know who I am and like wanted to send me stuff. So, this is a little sneak peek of one of the things I brought. I don't know if it works well with this outfit, but we're going with it. I don't have time and I need to go right now. So as you can see, I'm just walking home now in the rain. So the appointment actually went quite well. Um, update you when turned down the side street. We need to run across the main road now. Mm -mm. It's not safe, kids don't do this. So I've been given probiotic, little supplement. A while ago, I got a, I got a blood test done and my iron and B12 levels were a little bit low. So I'm just taking probiotic for bloating and digestion because that's been a bit all over the shop in the past couple of weeks. I'm also going to be taking a B12. I'm going to get that from the shops just because like that has a huge role on function of your liver, detoxifying. Hopefully this works. And also it is actually quite gold. I didn't realize that gold was. And oh my gosh, how did I... Whoa! Thank you all so much for 7,000 subscribers. I don't know how this is happening. I did not even realize I was at it until I saw someone comment. I just cannot thank you all enough. Like, it's seriously, this is all just one, like a dream come true kind of. Like, never thought that my channel would grow like this. All of your comments and messages do not go unnoticed. Like, they seriously make my day so much better reading them and like getting to chat with you all like it's still insane to me that people watch my videos from around the world I'm trying to make a quick few shout outs to megan who also has made me a fan page account on instagram a fan page for me i am just a little 16 year old paris in south australia like um <laughs> i did not think i was worthy of a fan page but I've also got a few others. I'll put them up on the screen, but I just like, I'm so beyond grateful for all of you. When I started posting videos, I didn't make it so I can get like a million subscribers. I even wrote it down in all of my books and stuff. My goal is to build a community of people and help teenagers, especially like teenage girls with their health and fitness journey. And then just also just have like a little bit of entertainment and fun every now and then. Growing and like numbers, like I don't get worked up over that stuff I care about helping you all but yeah it's just really crazy to me that there are seven thousand people that know my name mm, it's raining so badly i don't know if you can see rain on camera but it is raining hard yeah. i've just gotten back today i've written down in my little journal everything i need to do i've actually got um a bit of a list happening all right gym at eight done naturopath appointment done filming doing bake something we need to, oh orders are full clothes sort out yeah, wash hair, done. Right, so I still need to go shopping, baking, order, stuff close. And I'm going to ring Silk Laser Clinics. Let's book an appointment. Um, my name's Paris. A while ago, I was coming in to get 
um, underarm laser treatments. But I was just wondering if I could book in my next appointment. Um, just continuing on. Um, that works perfectly. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Done. Also, everyone, I have got exams next week. I've only got two though, maths and geography. And guess what? I'm done with maths for the rest of this year. I'm doing it in year 12, but I'm dropping it next semester completely. Math methods traumatize me. Wow, I'm flexible. And also, guess what? So I've also started dance Monday nights. Absolutely love it. They said I've got natural talent, but that's just from all the TikToks. So I'm just doing recreational dance to start off with until I can join a competition team next season. So I'm just doing like different styles each night. And also let me show you all my new TikTok dance that I like. Oh my gosh, I forgot. So the other day I received this parcel from Teddy Blake. It is a New York handbag made in Italy. Gosh, I've never actually owned a proper fancy handbag. So I didn't expect it to be this fancy. It's so cool. And the box looks like this. It's huge. You open it up, it's just fancy as. Teddy Blake New York designer handbags made in Italy luxury leather. It comes in a little bag like this. And so the bag I chose looks like this. You've got a long handle that so it can go over your shoulder. And you've also got a shorter strap too if you just want to like hold it with your hands. And then it comes with a matching black purse too. Oh, I should have used this today. Obviously not the outfit to go with it. But I mean, how fancy. It's really smooth. I just feel really bougie now. Like, thank you Teddy Blake for sending me this. I'm so grateful and excited to be able to have a nice bag now. Oh, so you guys can get to see behind the scenes of what it's like to work with some brands. Excuse me. So I'm just on the Zaffle website. I'm just going through and reordering the clothes. What color, green or black? I don't know. Let me look at the reviews. Yeah, we'll go green, be different. I'm gonna get this jumper. This, oh, I didn't even realize it was black. All right, so I've picked my items. Look like that, and then you joking? This is so messy, but we get the gist. Tick. Okay, welcome back to my kitchen. So I'm gonna make some protein balls. Yeah, you've probably seen me make these a thousand jillion times. They're just too good. So I've just had some date soaking in water. Um, they're a natural source of sweetener. You know. Well, they look rank as. And I'm gonna use old mate blendy stick. Mash them up, get like a date paste. I hate the word paste. Please. No, don't spray on me. So, I just blended up some almonds to make almond flour. I think about half a cup. Gonna chuck that in. Two tablespoons of cacao powder or cocoa powder. However you would like to pronounce it. Pumpkin seeds, buckwheat for some crunch. Just the remainder of some goji berries, almond butter too. And I'm add a little bit of protein. I use Botanica Blend, it is my favorite. Mix it all together. Oh, these ones are going to turn out well, I predict. That's the consistency you want when you're making them. You want them to be like, stick together a lot, but you don't want them too sticky. And that's some coconut too, just cause they're a bit dainty. I'm not joking you, these are the best ones I've ever made. Wing it recipes are always the best. So I've come to my room and I've just transferred all of my videos from this morning over. I'm just gonna get everything organized so I can edit this later. What are we gonna call this day? Yeah, good spelling. Pace. Right, it's just going to go through. I've got a few things to do with comments, replying to everything, and then I'm gonna get editing. Don't mind the wetness of my face. I just did my afternoon aloe vera treatment. So I'm cooking up some dinner now because I've got work in about an hour. I'm cooking up some turkey mints. Um, I haven't had like turkey or chicken in like so long. I don't even remember. Today, I feel like making burritos. I'm going to be using like this spice mix thing. It's really nice. I feel like I've just gone 
accidentally vegetarian these past few weeks. I don't even know how that happened. Just got the turkey cooking with olive oil and I'm gonna add a bit of this. I normally do like half a packet, I feel like that works fine. And then I'm also gonna make, I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok challenge, but corn chips using wraps. So you just cut one of these into triangles, season with olive oil, a bit of paprika, there you have it. I'm just laying during layering, whatever you call it, lemon alfalfa foil. Whoa, that looks cool. Woo! They cooked quicker than expected. the red top today as you can see i start at 5 30 finish at 9 and then catch you all later um whoops last night at work i actually felt so sick so i just came home and like went to bed but yeah that kind of brings us to the end of this video this one has been quite random but i haven't really done one of these in a while and just kind of wanted to update you all on my life show you my new gym routine and just kind of give you like a typical day in the life on a weekend and yeah today oh my god Oh, don't even get me started. I've got so much to do. I thought I was going to have a relaxing day. No. I hope you all enjoyed this really random video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. All of that jazz. And I'll catch you all in my next video.